I've already shuffled and will be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Aries. The recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got this emperor. And it's with the knight of wands. So straight off the bat. This is telling me that you felt like you were dealing with someone that had a lot of in and out type of energy. Because the Knight of Wands, the card that's below the word pass, is about being in and out. It's about um, being in a rush. This person you were dealing with. Um, they could have been a player, really charming. Knight of Wands is is considered that in the tarot, in a lot of instances. And because it's with this emperor, it's telling me that for some of you, um, you felt like you didn't want to give your heart to this anymore, or you realize that you shouldn't, you shouldn't open up your heart to this connection. Yeah, the Emperor is actually a very cold type of energy. The Emperor doesn't want to come across as being vulnerable. And there's a desire for power when you get the Emperor. Yeah, you'd rather maintain your focus and concentration. And you realize that's how you needed to be with this person. The Emperor, that's the card above the word pass. Yeah. So, you realize you were dealing with a player. Somebody that was just in and out. In and out. You, For some of you, you were dealing with an Aries. Your same sign. You could have been dealing with a Leo. And some of you were dealing with a Sagittarius. Some of you. Not all of you now. Yeah. So, that's the recent past energy. Between you and the person you're dealing with. But why don't we move on over. And let's take a look. And see what's coming up. For the two of you. Okay so. We've got the six of pentacles. And it's with the six of wands. Two sixes here. Is anybody good with numerology? So, anyways, Six of Pentacles, the card above the word present. Um, Six of Pentacles can be about a good relationship. It can be about a healthy dose of give and take. Or it can be about um, giving. Yeah, you could be the beneficiary of something of value. Or the giver of something of value. It's a it's a good ener it's a good energy a good card in the tarot. This is this is telling me Aries that your person could be reaching out to you, um, wanting to. Um, they could be wanting to to still give to this connection. Yeah. Or this could be you. The Six of Pentacles. You still want to give to it. You, maybe you feel like things will change. Because what's below the Six of Pentacles, the clarifier, is the Six of Wands. So this is telling me that you could be finding out that your person, they, they still want success. The Six of Wands, the card that's below the bird, present. It's about recognition, it's about victory and success. And for a lot of you, you and your person, or they could be feeling like you have, the two of you have good chemistry. Six of Wands can be about good chemistry. You get a lot of sexual energy with the Six of Wands. So maybe the passion is really good. So they could be really liking this 
and maybe you too, because the Six of Pentacles is um, is about giving. So you still want to give to this. And your person, they still want success with you. They like the chemistry that the two of you have. Yeah. They like it. Now, but let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is going to be. So we got the Seven of Pentacles. And it's with the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so the Seven of Pentacles, it can be about returns on investments. It can be literal, such as a bank account returning money to you. It could be figuratively, such as investments of time, effort, and energy that you put into a relationship. It's about reaping what you've sown. Yeah, so Seven of Pentacles is about um, really wanting this to work. Putting in a lot of effort and energy. See the picture of the Seven of Pentacles, the card above the word challenge? She's put all her money into those shopping bags. Yeah, because she, she's really trying to um, do something. Maybe get a new look for the new year. She's putting all her pinnacles into those shopping bags. Just because she wants, she's trying to get something to work. So, it's with the Knight of Pentacles. The card that's below the word challenge. Knight of Pentacles is one of the one of the best cards, I think, in the in the tarot. One of them when it comes to people. It can be a very solid and stable type of energy. Someone who wants commitment. So your person they could be feeling like they want something solid and stable this time. Or you could be feeling like you really want this to work. Because it looks like the two of you might come together and have some, um, it, it's going to feel like you two have really a good connection. Because we talked about the Six of Wands, that's a good connection. It, at least it feels like it. And you coming up, you could feel like you really want this to work. And you could be wanting them to come towards you with a solid and stable offer with the Knight of Pentacles here. And for some of you, they could be reaching out to you wanting something st solid this time instead of being uh, in and out like they had been in the recent past. So those are the two storylines that I'm getting. Yeah, for some of you, your person is ready to stop being a player. And for some of you, you could be feeling like you're going to have to put a lot of work into this. And hopefully you'll get something committed out, out of this person. So those are the two storylines I got. Yeah, I wish it was just one, one storyline, but those two came out. Now, let's move on over. Let's see what the outcome is. All right, so we got the devil, and it's with temperance. Well, this is telling me that you could be finding out that your person, they still have some bad behaviors. Yeah, well, maybe you could be finding out they're still a player. Or maybe you could be finding out they've got addictions. The devil card can be about addictions, greed, envy, materialism. Obsession, sexual lust, and of course we all know addictions can be drug abuse, alcohol abuse. Yeah, or you could just be finding out that they've got a lot of toxic energy. Or a lot of just bad behaviors or something that's very unhealthy. You could, you could be finding out it's still there, or you could be finding out something new about your person. And you just feel like, you might start to feel like that it's going to throw things off balance. Because temperance can be about balance, but you could be wondering 
if this is going to be able to get put back on, put back to balance. You could be trying to wonder, or you could be wondering if things are going to be able to work. How are we going to get things back on track if you're, you're finding out something new about your person that's unhealthy? Yeah. You could be wondering, are we going to be able to get things back into balance? Because now you realize that they've got some some other type of bad behavior. But they could they could be wanting to to be different. But you realize that it's gonna take work with the seven of pentacles here. They a lot of a lot of for a lot of you Aries, your person is wanting something solid and stable. They don't want to continue to be a player. Not with you. But it's going to take work, and you, you have to try to figure out how to bring it back into balance. Because now you're seeing that um, even though they want commitment with you, but now you're seeing that they've got some type of devil type of energy. Could be a number of things, or it could be one one thing. Maybe they drink too much. So now you got to work on that too. So yeah, it's a work in progress. The good thing about it is that, let's see. The good thing about it is that for a lot of you, that your person could be ready to change. Knight of Pentacles is, I think, the best card in the deck here. And they could be wanting success with this, with this connection with you. They like the fact that the two of you have a lot of great chemistry and the connection. It feels good to them. So that is the reading that I have for you, Aries. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope you, I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings. If you'd like to try one of those. So Aries, I hope all of you are doing well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. So stay strong and take good care. I hope you come back and join me for the next Aries reading. Just in case this one did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind, the roles of the people can be switched. Yes, they can be reversed. Meaning you could be your person or your person could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So, just take the readings for however it resonates. Because once again, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So, Aries, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. And take care.